Hi, my name is Joey Walsh. Welcome to Comfort Country Explore the Four. We're here on Stokoe Lake with local fisherman Justin Kraft. How are you doing today, Justin? Good, pleasure to be with you, Joe. That's great. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the lake? Well, uh, this is Stokoe Lake. It's uh, Tweed, Ontario. Uh, very abundant with different species of fish, such as uh, pickerel, pike, muskie, uh, yellow perch, sunfish, rock bass, crappie, uh, gar pike. Um, it's a plentiful lake. There's lots of fishermen fish out here from the area, and there's lots of fishermen travel to this area as well to do fishing on this lake, mostly because of the muskie fishing. Yeah, and how about yourself? How have you done this year? I've done actually very well. I've caught uh, probably nine or ten pickerel, a number of pike, and the biggest fish I got this year was uh, about an eight pound pike. Now I see this uh, rather unique contraption over here. What do you call this, Justin? Well, that's called a tip up, Joey. And basically what that is, is uh, on the end of your line, you've got your lure, or your mineral, whatever it is that you want to have. And uh, you can coil your line up here. And this basically allows the fisherman not to have to stay right on top of his line all the time. If you've got a breezy, windy day, the line will go up and down and it'll do its own kind of thing. If a fish hits, obviously, It'll pull this straight down and you know to go over and, and have a look and see what's on the other end of it. So it's just something else that you can put outside of your hut so you can keep an eye on it from the window. If you get a fish outside, you can run out and grab it. And what type of bait do you use to try and catch fish here, Justin? Well, the particular one that we've got over here is called a deadly deck. And it's uh, silver on the outside. It's got a small little eyeball looking thing on the end there. It's about three quarters of an ounce silver. And uh, we'll put a minnow on the end of it when we go to fish with it. Some of these minnows here. As you can see, I got many different sizes of minnows. Some of the bigger ones you'd use for bigger species, pike or musky. Uh, some of the smaller ones you can use for, for the perch or uh, the crappie or other species like that. I'll probably put about a medium sized one on there today and that's normally what we get the pickerel on. So we'll just take that treble hook, put it right through its back, so it still kind of sits up straight like it's a, it's still a swimming fish. And what can you tell us about rules and regulations? Each fisherman is allowed to possess two lines in the water. So I've got uh, one, two here, and my buddy obviously is out here with us, so he's got one in the hut, one outside here as well, so we've each got two lines. Um, there's two different type of licenses that go with, uh, with fishing, and there's a sports license and a conservation license. The sport license will allow you more fish, uh, more, uh, bigger limit size, and uh, there's a slot size too, which is for pickerel in this lake is between 13 and 18 inches. That's the size you're allowed to keep. And with a sport fishing license, you can keep one outside of that slot size. So you're allowed to have four fish and one can be outside over or under 18 inches. And Justin, what about the huts? When can you bring those out on the ice? Well, uh, it's, it's best to use your own discretion for when you bring the hut out. Uh, normally we get them out before the new year. Middle of December, early December, the ice is frozen enough for us to bring the huts out. This year it was a little bit later, so we didn't get them out till after, after the new year was already started. Um, our lake, Zone 18, Stoke Lake, you can have them out till the 15th of March, then they've got to be off. So it's basically the fisherman's discretion to bring it out, and then the 15th of March is when they've got to be off. You can continue fishing till the 30th, but the huts are, are off on the 15th. Well, great. Thank you very much, Justin. You're very welcome, Joey. Appreciate it. And with Explore the Four in Comfort Country, I'm Joey Walsh. Come on out and try fishing on Stogo Lake. Explore the Four is brought to you by Comfort Country, featuring the communities of Maydock, Marmara, Tweed, and Sterling. For more information about this edition of Explore the Four, visit online at comfortcountry.ca.